have you been learning excel power bi and sql and you don't know which one to use when to use them and how to actually use them together to get a job then this video is literally what you've been By searching the end for. of this video you are going to learn which one to use how these tools connect and which one to focus on depending on the projects you are working on or the role so let's Come go closer you probably heard this advice then excel power bi and sql but nobody actually told you how these tools are used together in real life or even when to use any of these tools in real and life that is what this video is all about i'm going to break down for you how to know when to use each of these tools what these tools is even all about right and the kind of project you can use them for. so we're going to be moving into what these tools are used to we'll start with excel excel is like the everyday mvp it's like a tool that we can use every day for everyday activities go to do for most office works any office you go to they make use of excel basically just to manage their data to clean their data and just put their data in place it's perfect for quick data review light data clean and basic analysis so when you just want to do some calculations round up just basic visualization you make use of Many excel nigerian companies heavily rely on excel that is why it is very important for you to learn Excel. Actually, make money at the time and it just using Excel. I made a video on how to actually make money with just Excel. I will put the link to this video in my description or I'll put it up there for you to Excel do. Excel is good for small data sets. So when your data set is not that large, then you should make use of Excel. Excel. It slows down with a large data set and when you want to do complex analysis, Excel, you can do it with Excel, but the problem is that it will take you a lot of time and it will take you a lot of processes to do a complex analysis with Excel. So that's why it's better to use different other tools. But when you want to do something simple, easy, fast, Excel is a good tool. Now we are going to move into SQL. SQL is like the backbone of data. Whenever you are working with a database, companies use databases, right? So whenever you want to have access to a database, you want to collect a data in a database, you use SQL. If you are working with things like customer transactions, millions of records, That's SQL can take millions of rows of data. And SQL is what you use to extract data from a so database. SQL is best for featuring large data, running tables, and aggregating results. So when you know you have to work with a lot of tables, and you have to do so many joins between this table to get your analysis done, then SQL is best for you. SQL can help you join many tables and get different analysis and different aspects and looks of this thing in sql and you are learning and you are analyzing with sql how do you connect it to excel you need to learn how to do all these things now we are moving into the real life um real life example of how to work with these three tools so together now you can start with s so you can use sql to assess those data right you can use sql to extract those data out so for data cleaning you can use sql extract the data sets Okay, you can extract the data set from SQL and then put it in Excel. So I'm going to show you now practically how to actually extract data from SQL data set, a table from SQL into either Excel or Power BI. This is SQL and I'm going to show you how you can and um, extract your data from a database to Excel. So this is a database, right? This is my a student info database that has the tables inside of it. So if you click on it, you see different tables, right? So let's say I want to extract this Adventure Works customer table out of out of um, this database to Excel. So I'm going to go and open Excel. And I'll show you how to extract this. So as I open it, then I'll go to blank workbook and then I'll go to data and I'll go to get data and I'll go to from database. Okay. And then I'll click on from SQL server database. So they're going to be asked for server. So your server is literally your let's go back to sql your server is is you this server when you click on connect 
and then click on database engine this is your server name so this is the server they, they are asking for so you're just going to copy just highlight and copy this this is your server so the server is different from every for everyone depending on the laptop or the pc you are using so you have to ask to put in the database so you are going to go back to sql and then get the name of the database so the database are going to be using is student info so i'll copy the name and i'll come back to excel and i'll paste it here right and then i'll click on ok so clicking on ok what will happen is that it's going to import all the tables in this student info database but if if i want to import a specific table like i'm just going to i'll just click on this advanced options and put in this query I'll do select, I'll do select all from then the specific table name. So I'll go back here, unless I want to import this table, I'll copy the name, then I'll come back here, and then I will do what, I'll paste it. So if I want to import a specific table, I will do select everything from this table name, and then I'll click on OK. But if I want to import all the tables in that database, I won't put anything here. So let's import a specific table. Then we also import all the tables in the database. So I'll see, I'll show you how it looks like. So I'll click on OK. Then click on Connect. Click on OK. So it's loading. Now see the table. I've imported the table. I cannot click on either transform or load data okay so let me click on transform so it can take me to the power query it will take me to power query editor so you see i have i have the table that i just imported from sql here then let me show you how to import a, all the um, query that's all the table in your database i'll just go to new source and i'll click on database sql server and then we'll start again right with the server name and i won't click on these advanced options i'll just click on ok so you see all the table in that database is here so i can now select the table that i want okay i can select the table that i want or i select everything i'll just select multiple items i can select every any table that i want or i'll select everything and then i'll click on ok and with that we have import extracted our table from a database to excel for cleaning when you are done extracting the table from excel from sql into excel or power bi you can now do your cleaning so we extracted it into excel we are not going to do data cleaning. So you cannot do data cleaning in Excel because Excel is very good for data cleaning. Remember, so you can do data cleaning in Excel. After you are done cleaning your data in Excel, you cannot import it into Power BI. You just save it and import it. I'm going to show you now how to save and import into Power BI. So now I'm going to show you how to export data from Excel to Power BI. So this is all the data set that we got from our database and we imported from our database, right? Yeah. So if I want to export this data now to Power BI, close and load, then click on close and load. So it's going to load. So these are the different tables we have. These are the different tables in my database, right? So what I can do now is go to file. I'll go to save as. Then I'll, you know, save it. So when you go to Power BI, click on Black Report. And then click on Get Data. Go to Excel Workbook. And then import the data or the data set that you just extracted from SQL to Excel. So these are all the tables. And then I cannot select the ones I want. And then either click on Transform. Or load and with that you've been able to extract data from sql clean it in excel and then import it in power bi for analysis
Now, we are not saving and importing into Power BI. You cannot use Power BI for visualization. So this is like a little example of how to actually use these tools together. We are not taught during your data analytics class. Well, I'm teaching you that right now. Interviews, you can be asked which tools you prefer. And also you can be asked, how do you use Excel and Power BI and SQL together? So it's important for you to know how to use it, these tools together. So guys, I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel and leave a comment in the comment section. Let's engage and let's talk about what we learned today. So I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to click on the notification bell because you need to be notified when I release a new video, which is every week. Okay? So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!